Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Cheryl again in my kitchen today and I'm going to teach you how to make crafting dough. Now the reason I call it crafting dough is because this is not play-doh per se. This is dough that you actually mold and craft into something and then you put it in the oven and bake it very, very slowly at a low temperature for about two hours. So you will need an adult's help with this. But to make the dough, first of all, we need flour and we need salt. Okay? So you may want to get your parents' help with that too. I cut my recipe in half. It called, this is a recipe. I have a recipe card and it calls for two cups of flour one cup of salt, and one cup of water. Well, there's only one of me, so I'm going to cut my recipe into half, and I'm going to use one cup of flour, and I've already pre-mixed everything just because it helps save on time. So I've used one cup of flour, I've used a half a cup of salt, and I've used a uh, half a cup of water. Now, I dumped all of my dry ingredients into my big cup of, that I had my half a cup of water in, and I did have to add a little bit of flour to make it a little more consist, the consistency a little bit harder. So, I have kneaded my dough. Does anybody know what the word knead means? When you knead dough or bread, that means you mash it and you squeeze it. Okay? And this is my dough. And I have a big ball of dough right here. But I'm going to knead it and then I'm going to put it on a piece of wax paper that I have on my counter here. Now, I found a flour cookie cutter and I found a star cookie cutter. And this star also has a design on the bottom so you can use either one. So I have pressed my dough out just like I was making cookies or biscuits. My grandmother used to do this all the time, and I love to watch her make biscuits. But I'm going to take the flour first, and I'm going to cut me out a flour shape. Okay. So, here's my flour. I'm going to push it out very carefully push it out of the cookie cutter so that I don't mess it up. And voila! I have a beautiful cookie. Now I'm going to put it on my cookie sheet and then I think I will cut a star. Press my dough back down. I'm going to Cut out a star with my cookie cutter and very carefully pull it out and I have, let me hold it where you can see it, I have a little star and I'm going to put that on my cookie sheet. Now, could you make something on your own? Sure you could. You may want to roll your dough and make a heart. And you could do that. Actually, you could make a triangle and then round the tops of your triangle and mash them out flat and you have sort of a heart. 
So I'm going to put that on my cookie sheet. Now, you also might want to make a snake or a bird's nest or any creation that you can come up with. You can make it and put it on your cookie sheet, put it into the oven on a very low temperature for about two hours and just let it bake. When you finish, take it out, take some paint and paint it and you have a beautiful creation. Everybody, I hope that you have fun doing that. I'd love to see some of them sometime. I want you all to remember, stay safe and wash those hands. Wash, wash, wash. Two birthday songs. And I'll see you next time. I love you all. Bye.